Hello, I'm Emily Spaven, the new editor at Tech City News. Welcome to your FinTech Monthly for January 2016. Today we're filming from the Braintree office in central London. We've partnered up to bring you a special series of FinTech articles on payments, e-commerce and more. So check them out on our site. Now let's take a look at the top FinTech news from this month. TransferWise published research suggesting a major shift in consumer banking behaviour will take place over the next five years. Three quarters of those surveyed by the money transfer company said they would consider using technology companies for services currently provided by banks. With this in mind, I asked Richard Gould of RAG Lawrence Graham & Co how much of a threat technology companies present to the existing banking system. In the Western world, the big tech companies are clearly making a big play around this whole area, Apple Pay, Amazon making loans and so on. But the financial services institutions are so embedded over here that actually the tech companies need to collaborate with them, which they're doing. And actually there's a project launched called Financial Innovation Now where they're doing just that. But I think a more interesting answer is going to come through Asia, where you're seeing hyper growth of tech companies like Alibaba going into financial services. Alibaba's financial services division alone is worth 50 billion now. So I think that, for me, is probably going to be where most disruption is seen. For more from Richard, check out his regular posts on techcitynews.com. London-based Air, a credit score provider for those without a credit history, announced plans to expand to North America and Canada later this year. The company, which was named one of Business Insider's 18 most innovative fintech startups last year, has also outgrown its London office and plans to move to bigger premises soon. Barclay Card customers are now able to make NFC payments using their Android phones following a new app update. The company said it's still working on the rollout of Apple Pay, but unfortunately couldn't confirm a specific launch date. Over in Switzerland, Fintech was a hot topic at the World Economic Forum. The CEO of Deutsche Bank AG took to the stage to say he thinks physical cash will become extinct in the next 10 years. He labelled physical money terribly inefficient and said it should be dematerialised. Meanwhile in the States, blockchain startup Digital Asset Holdings, which is run by ex-Wall Street executive Blythe Masters, has raised $52 million and won a contract to speed up settlement in Australia's stock market. Investors in the round included JP Morgan and CME Group. That's it for this episode of FinTech Monthly. To check out more of our videos, head to our YouTube channel, and for more UK technology news, visit techcitynews.com. Thanks for watching.